understand who Jesus is. Jesus is God incarnated in the flesh and walked among us and we beheld his glory as the only as the only begotten of the Father. I want you to hear this again. Let's go to Matthew since you're there. Matthew chapter 3 verse 16. And now I want you to hear this because uh, uh, here again God establishes the fact that this is my beloved son. Now this is where, uh, where Jesus came to John to be baptized. And, and looking at John, uh, Matthew chapter 16 verse 17. It says, And when he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water. And behold, the heavens were open to him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and a lightning upon him. And suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son. In whom I am well pleased. I want you to see that. The Father speaking to the Son. And the Holy Spirit descending upon Him like a dove. You have Father, you have Son, and you have Holy Spirit. The question is, can we agree on Jesus according to the Scriptures? Now we know that you can go to Mark, you'll see the same thing, the Father speaking to the Son, Mark chapter 1 verse 11. You can go to Luke chapter 3 verse 22 and it's still confirming that this is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. And so when Jesus at the end of his ministry and, and after he was resurrected, he told his disciples in Matthew 28, 18. I want you to hear this. He says, "He says, uh, uh, all power has been given, uh, given unto me. Now, I want you to go eat therefore, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. He's letting you know that He is God. And this is important that if we can just agree on Jesus, maybe that's a starting point where we can all come together and agree that He is the, the true and living God. 